We'll drive car of the year 2023 best dual cab ute. We've got four great finalists here. Last year's joint winners, the Mazda BT50 and the Isuzu D-Max. The D-Max has had some mild changes for 2023. Also here, the Toyota Hilux sales leader also with some minor changes for 2023, but those three are joined by an all new Ford Ranger, a very important category for a lot of Australian buyers. So who takes the prize? Well, let's find out. Drive Car of the Year is our annual culmination of testing hundreds of cars. We get our standouts of the year all together in one place to find out which is the best in show. Our editorially independent testing includes assessment of these cars inside and out and including dynamic testing in a safe environment. Along with testing of these utes off-road, loaded and when towing, we also spend bulk amounts of time behind the wheel and during the daily grind to see which is the most comfortable and best to drive. We're running through the finalists now for 2023 Drive Car of the Year Best Dual Cab Ute. I'm joined by Josh, who is lead judge on this category. Josh, Mazda BT50 was one of the joint winners last year. How's it performed this year? Yeah, look, as we said earlier, we've got four of the best vehicles in the segment here. A couple of changes to the BT50 for 2023, slightly revised interior trim. And this might seem an odd comment, but I really like the low and high beam on these cars, and that's really important for a Ute, right? I agree. Mazda's BT50 Ute continues to impress in 2023 with a good range of safety equipment on offer and a spacious and livable interior. The BT50 does miss out on cup holders and dash top storage that the D-Max gets, but the seats front and back are very comfortable. There's good adjustment available for the driver and the rear seats offer some good rake in the backrest, along with good legroom and headroom. The Isuzu sourced 3 litre turbo diesel engine isn't the fastest in the segment, but it's torquey and unstressed, which is perfect for a ute that's destined for a bit of hard work from time to time. And while there is a manual transmission available across the range, it's most often matched to a 6 speed automatic gearbox, which is a perfect companion. It's smooth and unflustered with the right amount of responsiveness for this application. Well, it wouldn't be a dual cab ute category without the Toyota Hilux. Now, this car has had a few changes for 2023, but Josh, it's already setting sales records. Yeah, top seller for six years in a row, going on seven. A lot of people love the Toyota Hilux. What's good for 2023, Toyota hasn't been sitting still. It's now got 360 camera, blind zone, rear cross traffic alert, and a big fan base. So we're really looking forward to seeing how this car goes against the newer competition. The Toyota Hilux is undoubtedly getting old, and there is a new model coming in the next couple of years. However, there is still a lot to like about this best-selling model. The 2.8 litre powertrain with 500 newton meters when matched to an automatic gearbox feels the most potent this side of a turbo diesel V6 and it's well matched by the six-speed automatic or manual transmission options. The combination of steering and powertrain calibration of this Hilux is good and the ride quality, while still having that firm jiggling that most load-carrying utes have, is good for the segment. It's also noticeably smaller than the Ranger and BT50 D-Max twins overall, allowing it to feel a little bit more nimble and responsive, and that's both on-road and off-road. The interior of the Hilux, while feeling well-made and with some nice practical touches, does give away the age of the vehicle. This is one of the oldest in the segment. It's comfortable up front, but the second row does feel the smallest of these finalists. Well, the Isuzu D-Max is the other half of last year's joint winner. And again, this has had a few tech changes for 2023. New color too, you can get it in Lamborghini grey, Josh. Yeah, tire pressure monitor is now standard on this grade. Slightly different change to the grill. New wheels, still a fan favorite. Still at a pretty competitive driveway price. And that's going to help it against the newer competition. Mm. Mild changes keep the D-Max feeling a little bit fresh for 2023 with a slightly new look, tire pressure monitoring and tailgate damping. What hasn't changed is all of the good stuff though. A torquey 3 litre turbo diesel engine with a well calibrated transmission and a nice balance of ride quality and load carrying ability. The interior of the D-Max is still impressive with some additional storage solutions combining with high levels for the segment of space and comfort. The infotainment display is good, offering high levels of features through that 9-inch screen, which is available in higher specification levels. However, the operating system could be a little bit better. 
Well, no bigger news in the Ute segment than an all-new Ford Ranger. Josh, new generation car. The others might have had some tech changes, but this one has really stepped up. This is the first new Ford Ranger in more than 10 years. In fact, a solar eclipse happens more often. We don't get new models very often in the Ute class. This is the car everyone's focused on. This is going to reset the benchmark, providing it lives up to our expectations. Mm. This new Ford Ranger uses the old T.6 platform as a starting point, but make no mistake, this is a next generation offering. The overhauled interior is impressive in terms of ergonomics and comfort, although we would love to see those additional cup holders and the extra glove box rolled out to more specification grades in the future. There's also plenty of small details like the enlarged under seat storage area in the second row and that rear step built into the rear quarter panel that adds up for a great ute overall. The range of powertrain options, which includes refreshed four-cylinder diesel variants, are all very good from a driving point of view. However, the addition of a diesel V6 with 600 newton meters available and matched to a smart permanent all-wheel drive system is great. It's smooth and relaxed with plenty of scope for loaded and towing performance. No ute is perfect, however, and we have experienced some software gremlins with Ford's new infotainment operating system since it first launched. And we also note that the all-terrain tyres fitted to the test car we had at Drive Car of the Year held it back through some of the dynamic testing. All of these utes pulled up from 100 k's an hour at over 40 metres, with the D-Max and Mazda BT-50 doing the best. The Ranger and the Hilux did a little bit worse at 42 metres. In terms of our 0 to 100 km an hour testing, you could just about throw a blanket over these four utes. All of them were over 10 seconds. The fastest was the Ford Ranger, however, at 10.2 seconds. That was with the smaller 2.0-litre bi-turbo engine. If you did opt for the V6, that number would come down. At the tail end of the pack was the Toyota Hilux at 11 seconds. Well, four great finalists giving buyers the best choice of ute that they have had in years. But as we say, there can be only one winner, and the 2023 Drive Car of the Year Best Dual Cab Ute winner is... The Ford Ranger. The new Ford Ranger scored a clean sweep with the judges, underlining just how impressive this ute is. And behind it in second place came the Isuzu D-Max. Its twin under the skin, the Mazda BT-50, is usually very hard to split apart, but this time it was pipped by the venerable Toyota Hilux. It was helped by its gutsy powertrain and recently updated safety credentials. The double cab ute category wasn't as clear cut as you might expect. A lot of the judges came into the contest thinking the Ranger would walk away with the win. In fact, the twin winners from last year, the Isuzu D-Max and Mazda BT-50, and the recently revamped Toyota Hilux put up a good fight. Although the Ford Ranger didn't exactly run away with this category, its on-road refinement and off-road capability got it over the line. Well, a brand new Ranger needs a brand new cabin, and Ford have really lifted the game here in terms of both style, technology, and implementation. There's a lot of great storage options. It's very usable, but there are still some elements like these hard edges here that do remind you it is a ute. Right in the center of the dash there, you've got that giant portrait display. It runs Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. It has its own native uh, software. It integrates well with the, the knobs here for the climate control system. It is a really nicely well-integrated holistic technology platform in a working ute. And it's why the Ranger has really, really stepped the whole game up. Now, I'm not going to lie, the back seat of a ute is never the most comfortable place to spend time, but the new Ranger does okay here. You've got reasonable room, although I would recommend running four rather than five up. And there are air vents plus a 12 volt, no USB though. Well, now the tub of the Ranger, a couple of things here to call out. You've got capping uh, along the top. This plastic here allows you to load stuff nice and flat on there without scratching your metal. The tailgate itself has got a spring bar in here that makes it really nice and light to lift uh, both up and down. It's not damp to drop, but it is easier to lift up. You've got the option of a spray-in or a drop-in bed liner. You've got a 12-volt outlet. There are four tie-down points, so it really is a usable tub. To see what it's like on the road, let's go back to Josh, see what he thinks. The judges praise the Ranger for its comfort over bumps, its competence in corners, and of course, it's a very comfortable drive. Large widescreen digital displays and a full suite of advanced safety tech. The XLT we're testing is equipped with the optional all-terrain tyres rather than the highway terrain tyres that come standard. And that meant there was a difference in how it handled the slalom. Initially, the car turned up with 40 PSI in all four tyres. The tyre placard tells us it should be at 30 PSI. Once we put it down to the standard pressures, 
the Ranger started to drive a lot more comfortably. While on paper it looked like the Ford Ranger walked away with this award, it was actually a tighter contest. The engine refinement isn't quite there, the gearbox isn't as smooth as it is in the Toyota Hilux, and it was a lot lumpier in the slalom test compared to the Isuzu D-Max, Mazda BT50 and Toyota Hilux. On balance though, the Ford Ranger was a unanimous verdict. It has the longest list of advanced safety tech, standard on every model. It's by far the most comfortable to drive, whether that's in suburbia or an open road. And the Ranger has the biggest bandwidth of ability, whether it's on tarmac or a gnarly off-road course. And we reckon the sweet spot of the range is the XLT. At this price, it's really well equipped. When the dust settled, it became clear to all the judges, the new Ford Ranger has reset the benchmark for double cab utes. And that's why it's the 2023 Drive Car of the Year Best Ute. If you want to read more about this segment or any of the other segments of Drive Car of the Year 2023, head over to drive.com.au. Thanks for watching the video and make sure you have subscribed for future updates.